Okay, nice to finish the front line with a par, birdie par. Um, eight over at the turn, not disgraceful. A couple of shots behind my handicap, should be six over. It's only two away. Uh, considering I had that double, uh, sorry, that quadruple, but no, that was a triple bogey one at the eight. Take that off and take another double off, and there you are. Now just take the triple off. That's what you got to do, and you'll be back. Right. Hmm. There's a little cute little lawnmower here, look. Beep, beep. Off he goes. Oh, like the road. Back up, back up, little robot. He's confused. He's figured it out. Off he goes. Imagine landing a ball on that. Anyway, shall I play some golf? Happy with that? A little bit toey, but in general, went round to the left. Hole goes around to the left, so happy with that. Found it, but it ain't great. 140 yards out. I hit that superbly well. Went mega high though, so it could be really short. Didn't really club up enough. Didn't see it down, sun's in my eyes. I threw the strike though, like a moon ball. As suspected, come up short, just sent it up in the sky. Should have clubbed up two clubs probably, the, the angle it was on. Uh, but it's in play, you know, never know, might get up and down. Always tough on a tight lie, isn't it? Just got ground first. Left with a lot of work to do. It's a five. It's a five, now I'm done. Should be better than that, but it's a five. Second putt was rather tricky. Real downhill, hardly had to touch it. But got it in, happy with that. Another cracking par three here, downhill, downwind, only a slight wind, pins at the front, 140 yards to the front edge. So I'm gonna take nine iron. Hopefully that'll be enough. Only I'm thinking an eight, but hey ho. Got that heavy and straight off the toe. Went nowhere. Terrible strike. 35 yards to the front edge. Looks like a nasty putt, that one. Nasty putt down the hill. That's poor. That should never be a double bogey. Oh, stupid missed putt. It's about four foot, but it wasn't a gimme. Just expect them to go in. Look, a lovely little par four here. You sort of have to lay up just over that tree and around there, and you're playing off down through that gap. Naughty. Naughty little hole. Oh no, I didn't film that. So basically, um, <laughs> it was all well and good, wasn't it? Got it all nice and pretty and didn't film it. I uh, got to the tee, I had four iron in hand. The only clubs I brought down was a four iron and a hybrid. And um, like got 188 to the dip. I'm thinking, ooh, and it's downhill. I'm thinking, Oh, don't murder this four iron. 
really pat it down there. Really, should have just gone and got a six iron and been done with it. I couldn't be asked, so I just hit a four iron. Anyway, I pushed it out right, but I literally patted it and it hit the bank and it's rolled back down to the fairway. Um, got away with it, really. Got away with it. How nice does this look? That looks so nice, doesn't it? I'm just going to be laying up into that gap. 280 from back here. So I'm just going to be hitting a four iron straight down into that middle bit, hopefully. yards to the middle. It's a full 52 degree here because that's straight uphill. On a bit of a launch pad again, probably should club up again perhaps, but doesn't look good long. Yeah, should have done. Because <laughs> it's not good short either. That's in the bunker. Par five though, so still a chance of an up and down. Didn't end up in the bunker. Kind of wish I had. As you can see, there's a big hill there. And uh, then the green. So this is going to be tricky. Very, very tricky. that even came out to be honest. I was literally chipping like this because I was stood in the bunker. So good that it's up but plenty of work to do still. Oh, look that's where we came from. Lovely isn't it? Really really nice. Anyway See what we can do now. So this is for par. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to no respect it. Good glasses and glove on. Let's take the brain out of the game. Take six from par fives, one of the better par fives I've done today. What a hole though, that was an absolute beauty. Oh, this for a hole, it's 270 yards. It's all uphill. This would be a great place to come and play match play. Or certainly four ball, better ball. But the flag is sort of out there somewhere. Can't really see it from down here. Not quite sure what I'm going to do here. Not quite sure. Rubbish at golf, rubbish at golf. Ooh. A bit of a head loss on this hole. Uh, couldn't find the first and the stand-up lee. 
at 110 yards, pitch and wedge, then like basically flush to shank. Felt lovely, just with miles outright. I say it's miles outright, I'm getting up here now and it's just next to the green, which is fine. Didn't even bring my putter. Fuck it. Turn it into a stable for Chewy. This is a problem with buggies, having to stick on paths and stuff. It does do my head in. You think, oh, that'd be quick. Your bag was a Ford's, bag was a Ford's, I ain't got the right club, oh, what am I gonna do? Anyway, first of all problems, I'm out playing golf for God's sake. Nasty tear here. Needs to be close, because I've got a putt with my uh, sandwich, so I'm not walking back to the buggy. Yes! <laughs> Three up for tea, four up, five in. Bogey. They just love golf. In an instant, turns around from hating golf to loving golf. Just saved myself a bogey there. Thank you very much. That's where we've just come from. The hills here are fantastic. That's another little issue. I built myself a little pocket, a little pocket of space that I was real happy with. I was well ahead of this little free ball that had let me through. I was like, nice. Just cruising around, happy days. Got to 10 and I teed off and saw these two women pop in behind me. I was like, oh man. So I'm sort of rushing a bit. What are you doing? Camera work and stuff. You're not, I'm not drinking. Like I bought two drinks. So I've barely had quarter of a bottle. It's pretty hot now. I'm pretty moist. You probably tell. Um, there's all my own decisions. I could let them through, but I don't want to. I'm a one ball. Because if I let them through, they'll be holding me up. That's what you can guarantee. It's a 330 yard par four. You can't see the flag. The flag's just tucked over the over this bank here on the right. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit a driver, I think. Highs and lows of golf. <laughs> Hero to zero in a flash. Love golf. Back to hating it again. 215 to the middle. Hybrid in hand. All right. Felt pretty much exactly the same, but not that bad. But look miles off target. I don't know what I'm doing. A bit annoyed. Well, found my second one. First one is in there somewhere. Fond memories of that ball. Chipped in, didn't he? That lovely little ball. I have lost some serious balls today. This is my approach, though. Doesn't look great, does it? Not great at all. Dang it. And you're bored yet? Green. One, rubbish, two, lost, three, drop, four over there, five on, six, chip on, two per eight. Ooh, double par, and what was looking like an easy hole on, from the tee. 
Might have to stop and have a nibble. Let these ladies through. They can obviously play. <laughs> 15th hole then. Par five. Um, smash a driver down through the middle. Actually, a good one. Hey. 165 yards to the flag. Um, just the other side of a dip. You see, it's a bit of a mound. On the right hand side, just in the fringe. Come on, let's play some golf. Another one pushed out right. I hate golf. Not quite sure what's going on there. I don't know whether my shoulders are aiming there or, or what, but I mean, it's fine. It's just out to the right, like nowhere near the flag. Well, it's pin eye at least. It was on the path, so just taking a drop. And uh, yeah, 50 yards. 56 degree wedge. Sort of want to fling it up, not a lot of green to work with. Just trick it off the back edge, I think. Annoying. But sort of good, but annoying, you know? You know those shots that are sort of good, but annoying? Yeah, just trick it off, but I'm there. Sure, what's going on there? Actually, just got under the ball on that one. Rack them up, boys. Rack them up. Jesus Christ. That was an annoying double bogey, wasn't it? Sun's out, though. It's lovely with sun. Very lovely. Very lovely. Having a lovely time. Yeah, the, the course is fantastic. The, uh, I can't get to grips with the greens a little bit. I've lost the pace of them now. I don't know whether it's because they've ironed them or what. I don't know. I just don't know. Hey ho, what you gonna do? Sort of looks nice, but you can't really see it from where you are, unfortunately. But there we go. Have a look at the trees instead. Little dog leg right, 220 to the corner. Sort of bend it around, 150 in from there. Hit a five wood. Then have a golf ball. Jesus Christ. Got a golf ball now. That one was hit. Get out of there, you bastard. So I've got 135 yards in, but I've got loads of tree, so I'm knocking a little seven iron underneath, hopefully. Far away, it's not strike, it's just not the right thing to do. Never mind, that's what it is. Hmm. Battery is flashing, so I didn't record that shot. But basically, I had 100 yards by the time I got to the ball, and all the clubs I had in my hands were an 8, a 7, a 6, and a 5. So I've taken an 8, just tried to knock it down, and it's short. <sighs> that's the issue with walking across fairways. You don't have your clubs, and then when your ball's only like 10 15 yards ahead of you, you're like, I need something else. And that's where you're at. Hey, it's a fun game, it's just a fun round of golf. I know what you're thinking, how can you be that short after hitting an eight iron? 
from 100 yards. Yeah, well, I just tried to pat it down there. Whatever. Come on, Wayne, up and down, up and down. That was exactly where I wanted it to pitch, just into the fringe. Lovely. Still a bit of a tricky putt though. Certainly not a gimme. Gloves coming off though. I haven't played with a glove off for a while. And the glasses are off. Well, I played it exactly where I wanted to play it, off the right edge, and it went exactly there. So can't be up. Just a misread. Down for a six. Another double. 11 golf, 21 over. I'm quite excited about this hole. Um, just walking up to the edge here and where is it? Oh, mate. That's ridiculous. What a golf hole. What's the green, I'm, what green am I going to though? <laughs> I'm assuming it's the one with the flag. That is amazing. That one doesn't have a flag, right? So it's that little, Wow, what a hole, what a hole. Not sure how to film this. I think what I'll have to do is just zoom in on the green. Hopefully, watch the ball go in the hole. <laughs> it's 115 yards to the middle of the green. Get it a sandwich. I'm not gonna tee it up. Tear a sandwich off the deck. This is ridiculous. Looks amazing though. Come on, Paul. Go in the hole. Thinned it. I <laughs> thinned it. That is in the trees. Actually, it's not. But it is long back edge. Findable. It was just down there. If there weren't two women up my ass right now, I'd stay there and hit about five shots of that. That is such a fun hole. It's worth being a member here just for that hole. scary. It's probably look where I'm going and not film. Whatever. It's only my life at risk today. So they can literally pick what green they want to put that into. How cool is that? They have two greens to play to. Today they chose the little one. It's so cool though. Let's go find me ball. That was the line again. I'm not um, taking any breaks now. Another double. Well done, me. <laughs> Good at golf. Jesus. Feeling ropey. Last hole, 18th hole. Threading it through the middle of those trees. Um, it's not been great, has it? Let's finish with a good one. That 
they're so tight through there. I feel like I hit a really good one there. And I heard tree. It's, it's going to be down there, but disappointing because it's just like such a good I've hit sort of a nice high draw and it's just bent into this tree on the left hand side and hit solidly on there. It'll come down on the bottom of it somewhere. Hopefully I've got a line in, but hey ho. In general though, fantastic course. Really good. Shame about the greens being sandy. It always annoys me. Cleaning your ball, cleaning your ball when you're putting and stuff. It's a real pain in the ass, but they're generally rolling really nice. And sort of on the back nine, if they've been through and ironed them today, obviously we saw them ironing them from about eight, seven or eight. And uh, I don't know whether all of a sudden, but they're stroking like, they're ironing the sand into the holes. That's sort of what they're doing. And um, yeah, the, the subtle breaks stopped. Early on, the load's really breaking and then the subtle breaks have stopped. So there's been a couple of putts I've sort of put out on the right edge and then they've just stayed there. So a little bit frustrating that, especially the sort of change in the greens, but at the end of the day, it's a great course. Uh, there's some great interesting holes, some like not great holes, but they're absolutely fine and comparable to anything good. Oh man, I was such a bad, so unlucky that is hit the lemon tree square on and come straight back. Ridiculous. Look at this. How harsh is that? The only way that's ended up there is by nailing the middle of that tree. How frustrating. Edge. 150 yards to the front edge of the green. 173 to the middle. So I am gonna hit a low four iron under this tree. This has got to be path, right? Well, it was low, but it was also fat. Oh well, it's in play. Seem to have caught everything just a fraction heavy today, certainly with my wedges. Just a touch, ball's not going anywhere. Hey ho, this is what it is. Golf. Finish with a double. Lovely. People love a double. Certainly loved them today. So what is that? 25 over today? Under 100? Always good. Always good to be under 100. Oh well. Here's what it is. As you can see, the course is in excellent condition. Other than the green maintenance. Uh, but still. They're rolling fine. If anything, maybe they got quicker. I, I have no idea what's gone on today. So I've turned the corner and struggled with them. But there we go. Just rifled some through. It's just ridiculous. Hey ho, a fantastic golf course. I would love to play it again. Maybe in the peak of the summer. I mean, it, you know, it's August at the moment, so it's fair enough. But. They, like I say, they've done their green maintenance, if you could play it when they haven't done their green maintenance. That would be pretty special, I think. The greens are slick as they are. Um, 
thoroughly enjoyable round of golf. So I've had a day to reflect. I'll do a little summary. Just out with um, little legs. And she, where is she? She is obsessed with those little legs. <coughs> See? That's enough. <coughs> hey, enough, <coughs> enough. This is, we've got some serious discipline to do. That's it, come on in. She gets like this when she needs a loo. You don't care about this stuff. Right, uh, so summary of the round. Front nine, all right. One bad hole? No, not even that bad. Like, just a couple of doubles on there, I think. Saving some bogeys from like three off tees and stuff. Um, lots of bad shots on the front nine, but saving myself, getting away with it. This is where we're staying, by the way, on holiday. Sorry, it's gone a bit dark. Change the lighting. Um, yeah, bad shots, but saving myself, which was good. And then from about the 7th, 8th, 7th, 8th, obviously they'd done some work on the greens, um, which I don't know whether they had to put more sand down. At one point I saw someone cruise on by and dogs doing a poo. Cruise on by with a load of sand. So I think they were sanding the greens and then ironing them and uh, obviously that created a little bit of good girl where's your good girl lovely poo pick that up in a minute good girl very good do you want a treat this girl face she's a good girl come on in let's have a little walk around um under the bloody trees let's have a sniff let her have a sniff dogs like to sniff um yeah, and then from that point, really, I was holding some good putts early, and then from then on, I sort of lost my way, and I was seeing breaks that weren't there. But early on, there were subtle breaks that were really taking, big time. So I think maybe the sand had a little part to play in it, and I didn't adapt to that, which is an excuse, really. The other thing is, I didn't take on any fluids. I had 250 millilitres of water, I like to try and have at least sort of a litre of water, which still isn't enough. A litre or two litres of fluid, should we say, like including leucozades and, and things like that. So I didn't take on nearly enough water. And that just came down to rushing myself. There was uh, obviously, I managed to play through that three ball, which was great. And I found a nice pocket and then a women two ball jumped on behind me and then they pushed me. Push me and push me, and I wanted to stay ahead, ahead of them, as you saw. I just didn't take the time to drink or compose myself or any of that. And it's all my own fault. I, um, thinking about how I played afterwards, because I just didn't play well, I think it was, I don't think I was looking at the ball. And I think that comes with playing by yourself. Uh, I think you... Uh, could sit, like when you've got others there, you think, well, they'll they'll keep an eye on that for me, so you can focus on the ball and hit it, and then look up and blah blah blah. As I think I must have just been, when I look back now, I don't remember sort of looking down at the ball and staying focused on the ball as I sort of swing through. You know, I think that's probably all it was. I'm playing again this weekend, so that's sort of like a quick succession round, which is good because I haven't had that for a while. And hopefully I can get back to sort of playing once a week now, which would be great. And um, just find a little bit more consistency again, because once every two weeks is too indifferent for me. I sort of, my swing changes. I go from having a cut to a draw to a push to a pull. Yeah, you can't play like that because you're just missing it all over the place and then you're trying to scramble. And if you're putting well, you might get away with it for your round. If you're not, then you're in trouble. Uh, so yeah, but the Manor House Golf Club is a fantastic golf course, good facility, it's got a nice driving range there, grass range, which is good, and they've got a nice mat there, which is really nice. Um, I didn't actually go in the clubhouse, but I went in the pro shop, and the pro shop was very nice, and the 
sort of eat in the dining out area, all the, the chairs and stuff outside, they look really nice too. Um, so a fantastic place, definitely a place I'm thinking of taking the tour. Um, yeah, really, really nice facility. Definitely going to go back and play it again. I need to because I played it so bad. So, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. I mean, you probably didn't like this video and if you've sat out to the end um, and you thought that was rubbish, just give it a thumbs down. That's what it is. It wasn't good golf, but it was a good course and hopefully I made it look nice too. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.